So here we have a user going in, looking at the album email, which has rich content, looking at their calendar, just to show you the entries that existed beforehand. And also looking at their contacts to show you the entries that existed beforehand. And what we're going to do is migrate these users. So here you go into the, the UI for the Domino Migration Utility. And I'll just pause it right here for a second. So you can see, compared to the last tool, this one just has an intuitive screen that comes up. You're selecting the Exchange server that you're going to be connecting to. To pull information, you're selecting the Domino server where you deposit that information. And in the next screen, you're actually selecting how you want that information to translate. So you're setting up the default password. You're saying where the ID file will live. You're saying where the, what the domain will be, where the mail files will live, et cetera. And you're all just doing it in one screen. And the migration tool handles everything in the background, moving the user, creating all the information. You're also able to go in and quickly pull out users, either by searching for them directly or using the more expensive filter. So here he's targeting Jason to be pulled in. And now that I have the users, I hit start, and it just goes. And this will create the actual Domino personal record. So you, we break it up. You can migrate the user as terms of creating a personal record ID file, and then you can also migrate the data. And we didn't forget about groups, so another separate action to move in the groups that you're interested in. So this is a good opportunity to also recognize what you need to carry over and what you don't need to carry over. So now that the group is migrated in, we've got these three entries. We'll go back to uh, Bob's email account on Outlook, which is still live. We'll do a replication to pull them in a new mail. And I'll just pause it right here. So automatically in the background, the migration utility created an account for Bob, grabbed over his uh, created ID information, and also sent him an automated note saying, hey Bob, you're now on Domino. Congratulations, it's your lucky day. Here's information, your ID file, how you connect. Right now it's a generic text message, but in the future, if they expand, we want to make it more customizable. So you can go in and put in even more detailed information around your environment and how you want them to interact with Domino. Could be just a URL saying, hey, get your mail with iNotes, and here's a URL. But this was automatically generated, so it's low touch. The admin didn't have to worry about it. It, you know, it just went out the door as soon as the migration happened. So now we get out of there, and now when we're back into the admin UI, we select Bob, and we can actually start migrating his server data. So once you click that setup, you can select Bob as a user you want to select to do the migration. You select, again, source, destination, very straightforward, very simple to use, and you can verify your connections. Right there is a pretty cool option. I just highlighted, you can actually specify that, hey, I know I'm moving email from Outlook, but my users might never need to use that mail again. So why clutter in the inbox? Let's create a separate folder. We'll dump the mail there. If they need it, it's available. If not, they can just use the inbox, which will be clean and brand new to use. We hit next. And just to highlight this screen, you actually, actually can do selective uh, migration. So you're picking, do I need all the mail for the user? For some users, you do. You know, VIP users, uh, who can't afford to lose anything, they believe they can't afford to lose anything, you can capture all their mail, all their calendar entries for other users that you know, they really only need the last 30 days, and they really only need maybe all the calendar entries moving forward. You just want that piece. And that really helps because now you're, you're choosing the data you want to migrate over, and it's reducing the overhead of the migration. And you can also pick if you want contacts, if you want notes, if you want journal entries, etc. Migration starts, migration completes, so the data has been transferred over. And it indicates to you, gives you a status saying what took place. And now I go into social edition as Bob, because that's the client that he should be using. So instead of the exchange mail folder, you can see all the emails that carried over, including um, the, the welcome email that came in from the admin telling Bob how we can access Domino, and it carried over the data in full fidelity.
And so now here's a cool thing. Bob's going in to his calendar, and his calendar entries did transfer over, but they didn't just come over as artifacts that live on his calendar. He can actually go in, and when he's the chair of a meeting, and he's going to be the, and he's the chair of that meeting, he can actually go in and edit that meeting, and it'll send out a rescheduled notice. So the linkage is all there. Kind of the plumbing underneath that makes it all work, the calendar workflow exists. So here he clicks the reschedule, he's going to add a little note saying why he's rescheduling the meeting. And this will go out to the users that are invited to the meeting. And so you saw that we transferred Jason over. And so now when we log into uh, Jason's account, so here we show that it's moving in Bob's calendar. Oh, we're going to switch over to the contacts. So the contact information also carried over correctly. But now we switch over to Jason's account, and Jason has received the invite. So he's live, he's ready to go, information's flying in already, and he can be productive immediately. So that's one of the, the big deals is that we don't want the migration to be a process where you're, you're moving users over, it's slow, painful, they're out of commission for a while, immediately they're up and running. And here we're just showing iNotes access. Once the mail file is transferred over, it's readily available for use with notes or iNotes. Calendar entries, et cetera. So I will just pause it there because it kind of covers the, the main items I wanted to hit. <coughs> so migrate email, calendar, contacts into Domino. Uh, switch. That's better. Uh, active directory migration to automatically create the users and groups in the Domino directory and providing APIs to manage that migration. So as you saw, the goal is to make it easy to use, streamline the process, and even allow you to break up the migration. Maybe you want users on certain servers, and then you migrate only those users over at certain intervals. And also, the users are ready to use Domino. They're up and running. They're able to be productive right away. There's no real downtime that they have. And we automate a lot of things in the background so the user is notified of how to access Domino and how to get started working. And with Notes next like Social Edition and the Discover page, when they hit that place first, they'll see all of the tips, the tricks, how do you use notes, how do you uh, be productive with notes. So it's really a great story.